What's going on, y'all? I want to check out some Tommy Soul, man. And apparently, he got beef with uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson. That, that's crazy, man. I didn't know it was, it was out here. Is it Tyson? The Degrassi Tyson? Am I saying his name right? He got a lot of beef, man. <laughs> oh, so, hey. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Yeah, I'm saying his name right. That's not. I got to throw the button on uh, for myself. That sounded crazy. Yeah, nah, I, I ain't like that. That sounded that sounded wild. Uh, he has a lot of problems with people, right? He got a lot of problems with people, and I'm noticing that from B.O.B. to apparently he he beefing with Thomas Soul, man. So let's check this out here. What Thomas Soul has to say, man. I think he's very intelligent. He be kicking some knowledge. Don't forget to hit the like button. Also, check out my Thomas Soul playlist and if you want to catch me live go to my other channel that's bxb spoil extra where you can catch me live streaming all right let's go intellectuals on issues ranging across the spectrum from policy housing policies to laws governing organ transplants have sought to have decision making discretion taken from those directly involved who have personal knowledge and a personal stake and transferred to third parties who have neither and who pay no price for being wrong close mm. quote so again, this this okay. counter common sense. What are you going to say? You know what's best for your health. Therefore, we must make the decision in a bureaucracy in Washington. That's right. How? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, if you've been told all your life, and, and many of these people have from an early age, they they were in the class for bright, gifted children. They were the ones who got into the good high schools. They were the ones who were accepted in colleges that accept uh, less than 10% of the applicants. Uh, uh, they've heard this all through their lives. And after a while, they must, in all due modesty, uh, believe it. All right. <laughs> There's a lot of things I ain't going to front that we're taught throughout the school systems growing up or just in society that be some bull crap, but we just assume it. Like systematic racism and all this other stuff. You, you're really teaching people to hate. You're teaching people to hate or to think that they're less than, right? And there's a whole bunch of stuff, just a bunch of facts about slavery that people just still to this day keep spreading misinformation. It's, it's a lot. So I feel where he's coming from. It's here. We pride ourselves on what we call well. freedom. Okay. We're free, free. And part of that free, you know, we, we live in a country where there are entire states where if you ride a motorcycle, you don't have to wear a helmet. Right. Okay, that's how free we are, or at least we tell we so tell ourselves we are. Here's the difference. If you don't wear a helmet and you're in an accident, you're more likely to die and become an organ donor, but you're not putting anyone else's freedoms at risk right. by doing so. Right. So that's a pure expression of your freedom right. taking your own life at risk as a as a functioning rational adult. Right. What if you got kids and I don't know, say you end up in that situation intolerably and your kids get taken away and put in like a group home or something of that nature. Wouldn't that kind of go against what you just stated to some degree? I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to look too deep into it. Okay. All right. If you now express your freedoms, but put other people's freedoms at risk, that's a no, no. And so I think so many Americans were confused about them wearing a mask not realizing that's not only to prevent you from getting uh, sick, it's to prevent you from making other people sick. Right. Yeah. All right. If you don't know that you have it. And that's where people didn't fully recognize and understand what it means to live in a free country. That's what the hell he talk. I don't even you know, I really hate videos that talk about uh, this type of topic, but very, 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 no. I mean, you can do what you want, provided you don't subtract from someone else's freedoms. Mm -hmm. And wearing a mask allows, creates the situation where you're not subtracting from someone else's freedoms, especially old people who could die right. from yeah. that. Right. But so, I think we're so selfish, though, that we only. And this is why people be losing their mind every time they see me wearing a mask inside my house. <laughs> Man, I'll do a, a YouTube video or. Uh, Instagram or TikTok video wearing a mask and I get a bunch of comments. Oh, look at this woke person. Uh, stupid. You're wearing a mask inside your head. Yeah. And I'm like, I just, I just like wearing masks, bro. <laughs> Man, I was wearing masks 
before this whole thing. Like literally, look at the icon. Look at my profile picture. I've had the same profile picture since I like started YouTube. <laughs> yeah, I've had that J for years, right? I've had it for years, bro. Like, and the crazy part is that is a picture of me. Right? It's a cartoon image of me, right? Or like, let me see. Oh my god, like a bunch of examples. There you go. It was, wait, wait. Okay, there you go. Right there. Right. This is literally that's me. That's me with a with a mask on, but I actually have is somewhere over here. Or it might be in my mask drawer. I got mad. I like wearing masks, man. It's something I just like doing since I was a kid. Never really liked showing my face. If I could do reactions with a mask on, bro, and and not worry about the mic not hearing me, I'll do it. I would do that. Would be my compromise. I would come on dressed like this. That's that's the car, the Garfield character, by the way, that I created. That's based on me. I'm like I literally did all of these poses for these damn pictures, right? Wearing a mask, but for some reason, because of the quarantine and all this other stuff, now people just assume I'm some like wokey. Care it's about it's, it's, us, even if they're told. The people who did that, even when they were told, and people didn't want to believe it was real. The, the, all the conspiracy people. So I'm, I'm, I'm saddened as an educator that we have people in this, the most advanced country the world has ever seen, the wealthiest country the world has ever seen, and we have whole communities among us who are sure Earth is flat, that mm -hmm. vaccines are bad, that the, the virus is, is, is an invention by the Chinese or whomever. This is... Damn, I, this is, he getting too deep. He getting too deep into it, fam. We get, get back to Thomas Soul. He's saying some stuff. Listen, let me put the disclaimer. Ah, BX Beast Boy, don't, I don't know. I'm not confirming or denying anything that this guy, Neil deGrasse, blah, blah, whatever his name is, is saying. I have no idea. He don't speak for me. I just got to put that on it. it he not, this is for educational purposes, okay, YouTube? <laughs> this is for educational purposes. Don't 86 me. It's disturbing. And I, I, I don't know that we have the wisdom to take ourselves deep into the 21st century. If they had some sense of the loss of freedom, which is infinitely more important than any other specific issues uh, by themselves, that is, Obamacare really is a huge step towards the loss of freedom. I mean, and it happens in small ways, yeah. that, 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 but constantly. I mean, we can't Never have been our a own fan of Obama. we want yeah. in our own home. Or Obama, we can't flush the toilet with the kind of toilet we want. Not an Obama guy. We can't take a shower with the kind of shower head we want. Uh, we can't put our garbage out except uh, uh, and, and broken down by the way that some little uh, gal lighters have decided that oh, we, 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 we ought to do it. I mean, that, that it, it's just the accretion of these things, uh, many of which are too small to be significant in, in themselves. Right. In the aggregate, you, can, aggregate, you can see the tendency of this. The people who think they know better and they ought to be telling us what to do. Right. Uh, those people are the danger. And if you don't see that, mm -hmm. then I, I'm not sure what, what the future is going to be like. Fam, I'm with them. I'm with them. I don't want nobody telling me what to do. There's so many things. Man, but I don't want to get into that because they they giving out strikes when you get too deep into those type of discussions. So I'm not even going to bother. But just know that, yeah, fam, like I'm I'm with Thomas Sowell on that, 100, percent 100. percent I'm this it's too much control. I don't like being told what to do or controlled or what's best for me. Right? You know what I mean? Let me get the information and make the decision for myself. At least that's what I think should be allowed but that's just me man that's my opinion tell me what you think down in the comment section don't forget to hit the like button as well as share the video check me out on patreon or sign up for channel memberships if you're able to and if you want to watch me live 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 and i might play a commercial after this telling you come to my bx beast boy extra channel that's why i do live streams short videos a whole bunch of stuff that i don't do on my main channel